Hey guys, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. I'm with Camera Girl One. I am in the picture, Camera Girl One, okay? Can you see? Yeah. All right, I wanna make sure that she has me in frame here, guys. Sorry, that's my GPS in the background. Um, yesterday, I did not go to the recycling place. I am going now with Camera Girl One. We're gonna head up there and poke around for a bit and see what we can find. But as the thumbnail says, I won my case. I won the case on the whole back on the managed payment uh, case that I had for a hundred and I can't remember what it was, $11 or $30. And it was a gentleman that said, uh, if you guys remember that I overcharged him another $114, something like that uh, through PayPal, which I did not. And uh, the case closed last night and looks like they're going to release my funds today. Um, and I hope I get it now because it's the weekend. I'll probably get it on Monday when I do the payout on Monday for the weekend sales. Um, so I'm quite happy about it. Uh, the other one that I had is still uh, under investigation. That's the big one, close to $500. So um, I think it's January 17th will be 75 days. And that's when it just expires and PayPal will release the money back to me. So let's see if I get an early Christmas present and it clears before Christmas Day. It would be nice. So we're off we go to uh, this recycle place. I'll bring the camera in like I did last time. And with four eyes instead of two eyes, it's a lot easier to pick and find stuff. So wish us luck and let's see what we can find. Okay, guys, we're here. Let's go in. Let's see if we can find something. I don't, remember, I don't know if you remember my last video. This place is a gong show. So you're going to be amazed at what's in here for those of you that didn't see the last one. All right, here we go.
Okay guys, we came out, as you can see, spending a little more time there. Um, did find some things to uh, buy. A Camera Girl 1 found some stuff and I found a real cool item. I uh, just only bought one item actually because I was talking to, I don't know if she was the manager. I know she worked there. Her name's Kimberly. If you do come, um, you know, say, tell her that uh, Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest sent you and uh, she'll know that this video did uh, reach out. But let me just um, show you what I got. This is an LPL easel mask, 11 inch by 14 inch. I paid $15 for it and it sells for over a hundred. So that's what I found and um, I'm gonna make some good money off it. Now, I wish I spent more time. Um, it wasn't as busy as last time. And and I think in my last video, I called it organized chaos. But here's the here. Christmas lights, guys. If you need Christmas lights, a buck, buck a strand. So um, I was talking to Kimberly, like I said, a minute ago, and she was telling me that this is a stop before it goes to the landfill and um, which is very, very cool. They're, they're kind of trying to stop filling the landfill with uh, garbage and uh, they've got a lot of regular customers on a regular basis coming and buying and um, she did tell me that uh, uh, a lot of movie companies come here and they buy stuff for props, which makes sense. Uh, she said uh, they sell hundreds and hundreds of books to movie companies for sets and um i also asked her about if there's ever sales and they do have sales but they don't advertise and what they do is you come in if you're there that day they may have a sale forty dollars fill your cart whatever you can put in your cart for forty dollars now that's everything on the floor i guess it's books everything on the floor except for anything that's in the cabinets now like i told you before in the last video i took a look at the pricing a little closely uh, uh, and behind the cabinets, there is some things you can make money on, but there's a lot of items where they are eBay prices. And uh, she, you know, she basically told me they have to make money, and I get it, you know. But look, look what I found today. You, you got to dig and pick, and you can find something to flip and make some money on. But uh, yeah, it's a very interesting place. I'll put the address down below. It's called Wastewise. They're in Georgetown, Ontario. I asked her if I could uh, put a shout out to them and she said she's more than happy to have that on there. And Kimberly, if you're watching the video, thank you for taking your time uh, to talk to me. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, sorry, I called it a gong show, but that's what it looked like to me the first time I was there but now spending a little more time it is a very very cool place with a lot of lot of good items um, in there uh, it looks like chaos but it's organized chaos if that makes any sense anyways guys there's the video for today if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you got any questions about waste wise put them down below if you're not a subscriber guys subscribe um, and until next time it's Chris from Chris's treasure chest I hope you enjoyed the video Talk to you later.